Hello all very warm welcome today we are looking at another lead code question at two numbers this is being this is being asked this is the medium size question which is also being asked in January 2nd week 2021 and uh, what this question says so we are given two non empty linked list representing two non negative integers the digits are stored in reverse order and each of their node contains a single digit add two numbers and return the sum as a linked list we may assume that okay the two numbers do not contain any leading zeros except the number zero itself now <clears throat> this is this is uh, uh, related to uh, link list math recursion we can we can use recursion there but what it what is trying to say so in in say in in, in our school days whenever we used to learn whenever what we used to do so we used to see three four two plus let's let's pen down like this I have five, six, four, six, five. This is the number which we have right now, right? Because what they're trying to say is, I have stored the digits in the reverse order. So original number is three, four, two, and four, six, five. If I do a sum here, right? This becomes my seven. This becomes my zero. I have a carry of one, and this becomes eight, right? This is my output. Now. If I have to return it right in the in the links link list manner, I have to return seven, then I have to, to return zero, then I need to return a eight, as you can see here, because this this has to be again uh, you can say be represented in the reverse fashion, right? This made our job a lot easier because we don't have to worry about reversing the link list if the original number is given and then work on it. So that makes a fairly uh, easier task for us. So what we are going to do is, right, uh, we are first, as usual, going to create one head node, which will create a dummy value. And what we'll do again is create one temp node, which will be acting as a iterator. This is where the whole operation will take place. It will keep on storing the next indexes or next nodes and then keep on moving forward as the next node. And this will first of all point to head. So that we always have that link between the head node and the upcoming number of nodes. Considering we are doing a summation and a carry, so I'll have a sum, I'll have a carry, right? Or you can say remainder because that's how we generally uh, attribute to it. So what we'll do is, let's zoom it a bit. What we'll do is, we'll loop through my both the input list nodes until unless both of them are not null why because say if this would have been say 24 this would have been 564 i will still have those i need to consider 564 all the three values and also i need to consider that carry forward as well or in this case remainder as well right so what we'll do now is we'll just check if l1 is so okay, before going there, so say I'll, I'll just store this value in my temporary variable so that even if say, sorry, I'll, I'll store a default value first because this can be null and L2 L is equal to zero. What we'll do is if my L1 is not equal to null, I'll set L1 val to l1 dot well and i'll move my node the list node of l1 to the next node right similarly similarly for my next node if l2 is not equal to null l2 well is equal to l2 dot well L2, L2 is equal to L2 dot next. Right? Now, I have my L1 val and L2 val which are storing the values of my current iterator. So, this in my first run is containing the value of 2 and 5. I need to just sum it up. But I need to also ensure that I am taking care of this scenario because in that case, I will have a scenario where I need to store the remainder as well. So, first I will just create one I'll just sum it out L1 val plus L2 val plus remainder if any. And what will be my value which I have stored in the value? 
so so that will be like int my say node val right which i'm going to store will be equal to sum upon 10 right why why upon 10 because if say this would have been says 4 plus 6 which will be equal to 10 i need to store 0 the the first in first you can say this will be if i do 6 plus 4 this is 10 i need to store this value not this right hence i'll do upon 10 so this say for example this would have been say or say this would have been say 5 plus 7 right 5 plus 7 of this is becomes 12 in this scenario i need to store 2 not 1 so i'll just divide 12 by uh, uh, 12 by 10 i'll get a value of 1 right so uh, sorry my bad uh, this this has to be percentage not division so i need to store a value of 2 not not 1 1 is my remainder so remainder will be sum upon 10 right now i have this value so this now stores a value of say 1 if i take example of 12 and this stores a value of 2 right now what i'll do is okay my temp node which i create on the top right dot next this is where my actual link list starts link list starts is value whichever node value i calculated and i'll do temp node equal to temp node dot next so this is it guys so this i have to just return head dot next because this is my first value which i'm storing so uh, this this looks pretty straightforward when you uh, try to break it down into smaller chunks and let's see if it passes our test cases I got a semicolon error on line number 22. Uh, line number 22. What am I missing here? So I don't see a semicolon issue. So let me remove this command and see if this is working for me. Oh, that's taking it's quite some time. The complexity of still remains O of n, where n is the maximum number of nodes. Okay, good. That that issue, semicolon issue is resolved, but I have this typo issue. So that should do the job. Let's let's see. Okay, I got the expected results. Let's try to submit it. It passed. So this is it guys. Uh, I hope you like the solution. Uh, there are many such solutions we can use recursion as well. Uh, you can post in the comment section your, your solution and, and try to improvise to what I just did. Uh, in case you liked the uh, explanation and you if you have any feedback, please go ahead and share it across via comments. Uh, please do like and subscribe. Uh, I'll keep on posting uh, questions like this in the upcoming uh, days and weeks. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot.